Now I'm going to go over here and show you how we did this and we actually cut the corner and uh, I'll show you that process in a minute but then what I really want to show you here is at the bottom leg we got out you'll notice that when we took it off you'll see that the holes were kind of rotted all this was covered with paint you did not know it you couldn't see it you saw a little bit of evidence of it right here on, on the edge of the window right there and that was it but now I'm gonna go ahead and pull this bottom part of the sash off and we've removed it and I want to show you some of the details now look how rotted that is you see what I'm saying you got rot on both ends so we have to replace those parts there'll be more to come on alright so here's uh, one of the first steps again uh, we already did it on the other and I forgot to put the detail you got to remove the weather strip and so I'm, I'm trying to show you this in the process that's probably the very first thing that you do and you got to be careful how you pull it out because there is a very very small kerf track cut in there for that weather strip and if you jerk it like I've seen some people do they'll just go out there and they'll grab one and they'll just jerk the heck out of it and they'll break the kerf track so that the new weather strip will not go back in. Okay right here what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how we use a, uh, a Sonic Crafter tool and we're going to come in and when you have a built best window and they're nailed you got to understand that on a production line in the 1990s or whenever these were built 88, 9, 89, 90 whatever the guy standing on the line had an air nailer and was nailing these nails about an inch long finishing nail every which direction just depending on where he was standing and how he felt so you don't know where they're at 